It's already that time of the year. Testing, testing. Let me know if you guys are liking this brand new intro. But anyways, where did time go? Because I swear June was like two weeks ago. But now throughout my neighborhood, I'm seeing school buses, kids walking, and best of all, parents happy. Yeah, I saw a mom down the street jumping up and down. So back to school is here, folks. Are you actually excited? Let me know. And you've heard about my first day of middle school, but that comes nothing close to what I went through on my first day of high school. I still can't believe I haven't shared that yet. And I can already feel the comments. This guy has infinite stories. So ladies and gentlemen, grab a snack and sit down for this one. I remember two weeks before school started, we would get our schedules and everybody in my school would share theirs on their Instagram. Yo, who got classes with me? Some of my friends would even call me. Or hey, who you got period two? Alexis, we're going to different schools. Oh, you're right. It's a canon event. Also, whenever one of my crushes would share their schedule, I would immediately compare hers and mine. All right, so we'll cross each other in the hall between periods two and three, and also during lunch. Yeah, I was down bad. Anyways, the transition from middle school to high school for me was pretty intense. Cause my high school was twice the size of my middle school. Felt like I unlocked a new map and it was a triathlon along getting around that school. You know, going up the stairs, maneuvering around people, and running down the hall. I even remember jumping over a kid who was sitting in the middle of the hall. Everybody was yelling at him to get up. Yeah, I thought those are elementary school things. And since it was a new map, <laughs> I love calling it a new map, we would get lost as well. Cause I knew the layout of my middle school by heart. I could've walked through that building blindfolded. But this new high school was something else. Some of my classes would be in a whole separate building and we would have to walk through a tunnel in the basement. Yeah, I wish I could make that up. Ask anybody that went to that school. And one thing I recommend for you guys, do not make that first day of school any harder for yourselves. Cause my friend Marcus wanted a challenge. Hey Jorge, wanna take the long way with me? The long way? I haven't even figured out the short way. And Marcus Marcus took the long way and homie arrived five minutes late drenched in sweat. He would ask me for my water bottle and he can barely focus. And he wasn't the only one to make a mistake like that. Cause for fourth period, I vividly remembered that I had science and I sat in a random seat and saw a bunch of my friends there. And my crush was there as well. I guess she swapped classes or something. All right, this might be my favorite class. The teacher was doing roll call and one by one, each kid was raising their hand. However, I noticed something weird. Alex. Valdez. Valdez? V? My last name starts with an S. So the teacher already would have called my name. And once the teacher finished roll call, my name was not called. Uh, mister, you didn't call me. What class are you supposed to be in? 302. This is 301. What? Yeah, I ended up in the wrong class. And I felt so embarrassed because not only my friends, my crush also saw that. Um, should I go next door then? Yeah, I'll give you a pass. Anyways, the rest of that first day went pretty well, however. No, I'm just kidding. Wait till you hear about these last five minutes of the school day. We were pretty much getting ready to leave. And after after a day full of mess ups and icebreakers, I was ready to go home. But out of nowhere, I feel like this day was just filled with bad luck. Cause a fire drill went off out of nowhere. And you know kids in school, some of us freaked out. And others were being dramatic and yelled to the top of their lungs. And remember, this was a brand new school. We were not prepared for this. Which is the way out. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, we just followed the entire herd of people. But once we were out though, it was 2.44. And school would end at 2.44. 45. Uh, should we go back into the school? I don't know. I don't have anything in my locker. I might just leave. Yeah, nobody went back into the school. We all just went on our own ways. Now that's what I call early dismissal. Quick announcement, by the way, your boy's gonna be going to VidCon Baltimore later this month. So if you live around the area or somewhere in the East Coast, I would love to see you guys there. And I may be showing up with a special surprise to the event. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.